of Operation Impact, Canadian Armed Forces members are currently deployed on NATO Mission Iraq to help strengthen Iraqi security forces and military education institutions. We recently spoke with the mission commander, Major General Jenny Carignan, to discuss efforts during this current rotation, commanding the mission during COVID-19, and diversity in the CAF in light of Women's History Month. Operating with uh, COVID-19 in Iraq has been a challenge. Uh, it has added a level of complexity to uh, everything we do here. Uh, however, uh, we have learned a great deal since the start in March and uh, we have adapted. So now we are operating with COVID in a very comfortable way. The safety and the security of our members on a mission is, is of primary concern for me. Uh, we have implemented uh, a few measures to make sure that uh, we protected and mitigated the risks of, uh, of COVID-19. We have built redundancy and we've also uh, uh, implemented a, um, a business continuity plan to make sure that if we have people uh, coming down with COVID, uh, that we can actually uh, maintain the operations. The CAF has uh, clearly become a more uh, diverse organization since I've joined uh, because uh, there was no way I could have been put into the position of uh, command uh, uh, NATO mission Iraq. Uh, however, uh, there's a lot more work that needs to be done uh, to maintain the momentum in recruiting and retention of women within the Canadian Armed Forces. Key leadership practices to create a positive um, work environment for me is based on the principle that great organizations are made of great people. So uh, to me it's important uh, to bring the team together and then harness their strength to develop them to their full potential. For anyone considering a career in the CAF, I would say just do it, don't overthink it, uh, give it a shot and I think you'll be surprised at what it is that you can do.